New mayor and now talk of raising property taxes. Daphne's mayor elect Robin Lejeune says his city may benefit from a special tax district to boost public education, but he wants voters to decide. Spanish Ford and Fairhope voters have already said yes. NBC 15's James Gordon takes a look at how the tax districts are working and if people in Daphne really want to pay more. James. Well, Kim, if voters in Daphne agree to a three mil tax, the average homeowner with a $100,000 home would pay $30 more in taxes every year. In both Spanish Fort and Fairhope, the money stays local and it's not intended to go towards construction projects or athletics. I do see some sort of vote coming up. Might not be three mils, might be a mil, might be a mil and a half, might be three years, five years. There's so many moving parts to that. Retired Daphne history teacher and homeowner Jeannie Nelson saw the need back when she was teaching and sees it now. This is basic program, but I think we need to do a much better job of teaching people how our government is supposed to work because there's a whole lot of people that don't pay any attention and they don't care. Daphne parent Amy Michaels says it will be a good investment. I can see how there'd be opposition if you don't have a child in the system and you would not want to have to pay the extra tax. However, the majority of people in Daphne do have a child in the school system. In cities like Fairhope, an additional three mil tax has already raised close to $2 million. Councilman Robert Brown is on the city's Public Education Commission. He says in the past, five schools shared city money for early intervention and professional development. Now, it's much more. So before each school would split 300000 now each school has over 300000 each for uh, early intervention and professional development. Anti-tax groups like Common Sense still oppose the tax. Common Sense member and business owner Kevin Spriggs says homeowners and businesses pay different taxes. Businesses do not get the exemptions that homeowners get. Businesses pay a much higher rate of property tax, so your businesses are going to be take a pretty big hit off his property tax and that hit is going to be passed back to the consumer. Meantime, Mayor-elect Robert Lejeune has not indicated when he'll bring this up to the council or if he will at all. Now Daphne's new mayor takes office November 2nd. But now we're live in Bali County, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.